Hello guys, today I Jagveer Singh is here with another video of Katia V5 software and today we will learn about how to use the whole feature. So let's get started. In order to use and make a hole, we need to have a specific solid. So I'm just going to randomly make one sketch. It can be anything. I will choose, let's make a center rectangle. I make a rectangle. I exit out of the sketch and I pad the sketch to any dimension by standard and click OK. So now if I want to make a hole, I have two options to choose. Either I can choose pocket, which is right here. I can choose pocket. For that I need to make a sketch which is definitely going to be a circle if I want to make a hole and then I can specify the depth to which I want to cut but another way of making simple holes is the hole feature itself you click on hole for hole it asks for a specific surface on which you want to make the initiation of the hole and then you can specify the dimensions but for that you need to make a point on the surface so in this video I will also teach you how to make a point on the surface if required you click on this point and there are different different options that you can choose the point type for I'm just going to use you can choose either coordinates or also on surface or plane whichever you like I'm going to click coordinate and I'm going to click on the surface so now it's asking for me where I want the point to be and we do have V and H value that we can specify if we want the hole to be made right in the middle we can enter 0 and 0 for both V and H and click OK so now I have a point which is right in the middle of the surface where I would like to make a circle or a hole so this point will refer me and can be used as a center point of the circle for which I want to cut a hole throughout or to a particular depth as required by any user. So I click on hole and now I click on the point, I click on the surface itself. So now it gives me different different parameters that I can choose from. There are different different types of hole that you can make. So this is the another feature of hole function that you can use in order to make what type of hole that is required rather than making different different depth using the pocket feature. So in this case let's say this is a simple type which is exactly like the pocket. All you need to do is specify the diameter and you can specify the specify the depth or you can go up to the next or up to the last whatever the requirement you click on preview and you can see it's through all you can you have different different types you can come to tapered if require a specific angle whatever the angle might be given to you let's say it's given 30 degrees you click 30 degrees and you click preview and you can see one converging hole that that is made all the way through so if you were to do the same thing using the pocket feature you need to do you need to make two different holes or to make one sketch from this view at the center and make sure you revolve it or you revolve cut or use the group function that I will show you in the next video for sure and how to use the group function in order to do some features but that's going to be a lot of work for no reason so that's why we prefer hole over any other feature like pocket or the groove when required to make a simple surface that we need to extrude cut through all or just we need to make one hole so there are also different different other types which which I can see counter board countersunk and counter drill so basically the first type and the last three types are the main one that we use in engineering counter bore you can see as the 
when I'm going to click on preview it shows us that we can specify two different diameters and the best part about these holes are that they can be used to rest the screws or the nut at this gap that is going to be present right here between the two pockets and then we can specify the length as much we want to cut if you want to cut more we can in order to control the overall depth of cut we can use this particular feature but as we have entered up to next so it will by default select the entire length if you want to specify a particular dimension you can click on blind and then you can choose it by yourself like whatever the depth you want to choose and click preview and then you can see right there another type is countersunk this type is also very common especially with the flushed rivets or you can also say the flush screws that are required to sit flat on the surface which are pretty common in aircrafts and other manufacturing vehicles too. Counter drill the same way it specified so there are different different screws and even the rivets as per the specification and they do have different different rules and the type of hole that is required in order to make them applicable. So whatever the type that you might be looking for all you need to do is choose hole make a center point use hole feature or hole definition in order to make the type of hole that you're looking for and that's pretty much it you would be able to make whatever the type of hole and the best part is you can easily control the dimensions just by one or two different clicks that's it for today Thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe and share this video. Thank you.